Dr. Amy here, and in this video, I'm sharing with you the best supplements for chemo hair regrowth and the worst supplements, the ones that are unsafe and a total waste of money. Growing your hair back after chemo is a painful process. I understand this firsthand. After chemo, you want to grow your hair back ASAP. You just want to look and feel like yourself again after cancer, and your hair is a big part of that. People say, it's just hair. Don't worry about it. It's not just hair. It's your confidence. It's how you view yourself. After losing my long red hair to chemo, I would spend hours Googling what my hair regrowth was going to look like at one month, three months, six months, a year, even two years after I was done chemo. And here's where I am today, six years later. Now my hair is the longest and fullest it has ever been. There are some hair growth supplements that truly work, science back, and others that are a total waste of money. In this video, I'm showing you exactly what you need to know. First, let's dive into Nutrafol. Nutrafol has a variety of ingredients, 21 to be exact. And it comes at a pretty high price tag. It's gonna cost you about $80 a month for this product. And this monthly cost is gonna last indefinitely. On the Nutrafol website, they say, if you wanna maintain the results you've achieved, then you have to keep taking the supplement forever. Now, this product does have quite a few evidence-based ingredients, so let's break it down and see if it is really gonna work for chemo hair regrowth. When we think about hair loss, we have to think about what's causing the hair loss. In the overwhelming majority of people, hair loss is because of aging and changes in their hormones. We see this in male pattern baldness, for example. Now, because the hair loss is caused by changes in hormone status, then how we treat that needs to target that exact cause. But for you, a cancer survivor, that's not the case. We know why you lost your hair, toxic chemo. So we cannot treat your hair regrowth the same way we would prevent hair loss in a 65-year-old man. What we wanna do here to support chemo hair regrowth is to support your hair in growing back faster and fuller than ever before. We're not trying to prevent hair loss. That already happened. Unfortunately, the overwhelming majority of science surrounds hair loss. Bummer. But if we dig deep enough, there are products that can help you as a cancer survivor. Hardly anyone knows about these, so I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to take. But is that Nutrafol? Here's what we know about Nutrafol. There is some science that looks at this product, but it unfortunately looks at preventing hair loss as opposed to hair regrowth. It's really unfortunate because it means hardly any answers for cancer survivors. The other issue with Nutrafol is that within these science-based studies, they didn't look at the diet or the food that people were eating. If you have a bad diet, then taking a general multivitamin can correct vitamin and mineral deficiencies and potentially help your hair grow back faster. But a multivitamin is rather inexpensive and you don't need to be spending $80 a month on Nutrafol to get the same benefit. There's also not a lot of safety data on Nutrafol and cancer survivors. The longest this supplement has been researched is six months. Now, because of the life cycle of a hair follicle, it's going to take at least three months to see any results, but we really don't know about its safety beyond the six month mark. So if you're a cancer survivor looking to grow your hair back after chemo, then Nutrafol would not be my selection for you. I know it's popular, I know people are talking about it, but it's not the best choice for hair regrowth. Now you know why. But let's get into some products that will actually help with hair regrowth after cancer. You wanna do something to support your hair regrowth after cancer, so let me show you exactly what will work. Rosemary oil. Now, rosemary oil is a great place to invest your energy and money. Rosemary oil has been found to be just as effective as Rogaine for hair regrowth in women. A 2015 study in Skin Med Journal found that rosemary oil was just as effective as Rogaine in women. Now here, we're actually talking about hair regrowth and we're talking about women. And rosemary oil is less irritating than Rogaine. Many people actually stop taking Rogaine because it causes irritation to your skin and your scalp. Rosemary oil does not have the same issue. So you're gonna use one mil of rosemary oil and massage that into your scalp twice a day. Just put that oil on your fingertips and massage it into your scalp. Rosemary oil is easy to find in many natural health food stores, online, or even in grocery stores. But a word of caution here, finding good high quality rosemary oil 
can be tricky. A lot of products you can buy might not be of the highest quality and some might not have any rosemary oil in them at all. So make sure you purchase from a company or a store that you really trust. Okay, so if you're keeping score, that means Nutrafol is a pass and rosemary oil is a yes. But what about other supplements you take by mouth, like other nutritional supplements? Things like biotin, collagen, or a new product called Neurocrine. Let me show you what works and what doesn't. Starting with biotin. Biotin is widely claimed to do miracle work on your skin, your hair, and your nails. But the science on biotin is really unimpressive. There's no evidence that biotin helps with hair regrowth, thickness, or density. The only exception is if you have a biotin deficiency. But here's the secret around biotin deficiencies. Almost no one has one. Biotin can be found in so many different types of foods, it's really rare to have a deficiency. That means biotin just doesn't work for hair regrowth. And it can interfere with some common lab tests. If you have a thyroid issue, then biotin can interfere with the test used to measure your thyroid levels, and it could potentially be messing up the levels of your medication. It can also affect the test used to rule out a heart attack. So when it comes to biotin, don't bother. Okay, but what about the supplement Neurocrine? This looks a little bit more promising. Now, this supplement does have three different ingredient groups in it. The first is a combination of fractionated fish extract. Let me explain why this could actually work to help you regrow your hair after chemo. The other two ingredients are silica and biotin. Wait, what? You just told us biotin was no good. And I stand by that. Biotin is no good for hair regrowth, even in this product. But it's the fish extract that I want to dive into. What's really at the foundation of the fastest hair regrowth is hitting target protein levels. The reason why is because your hair needs specific amino acids to grow. Protein is made up of those amino acids. Without these amino acids, your hair just won't be able to grow as fast. Now, if you're eating to target protein levels, then this is not gonna be an issue for you. But the majority of women that come to work with me in the Cancer Freedom Program are not hitting their target protein levels. They're just not eating enough protein and that's probably you too. And the problem is that without eating to target protein levels, your hair growth is slowing down. So you have two options here. One is to just start eating to your target protein levels, and two is to supplement to get to those levels. This is where Neurocrine steps in. It's gonna give you those amino acids that your hair needs to grow. Now, you have to know that there's not a ton of evidence for this product in cancer survivors either, but the theory behind this product does make sense for chemo hair regrowth. Okay, but what about collagen? Lots of claims online about collagen being useful for your hair, skin, and nails. So it seems like a natural fit for cancer survivors. Well, here's the truth about collagen. As a protein, collagen is a good option. There are some theories online that collagen potentially supports tumor growth because we know that cancerous tumors use collagen to develop the blood vessels in your body that they need to grow. So there's a theory that if you consume extra collagen, then it could support for cancer growth. But this is just a theory. It's never been proven. There's no reason currently to think that collagen would be unsafe for cancer survivors. But here's where collagen starts to be really disappointing. There's no evidence to show that collagen is actually helpful for hair regrowth. Here's why. Remember when I mentioned that specific amino acids are needed for hair regrowth? Well, those amino acids are not found in collagen. So if you supplement with collagen, then you're actually getting amino acids that aren't needed for hair regrowth. Collagen's just not a great option for hair regrowth after cancer. There are better options like this next one. Okay, but this last product I have to talk about. This one truly works to support hair regrowth. And it's this product that I'm most excited about. Now, there is one systematic review that looked at low-level light therapy for hair regrowth. Now, unfortunately, again, a lot of the literature did surround male pattern baldness, but hang on, because we got to dig a little deeper. The systematic review included 11 studies, and nine of those studies showed that low-level light therapy actually improved hair regrowth in both men and women. This type of low-level light therapy actually works to support hair regrowth. You can wear this cap three times a week for 25 minutes a session. It's pretty straightforward. Now, there is a catch. This cap for low-level light therapy is kind of expensive. It's around $1,500 to get one of these at home. It's an investment for sure, but it works. 
but a big part of hair regrowth actually has to do with your food. If you aren't eating to your target protein levels, then your hair just isn't gonna be able to grow as fast. That's really the first thing that you need to fix. So I've linked up this next video here on the best breakfast for cancer survivors. This is a perfect place to start. See you in the next video.